So we're given a double decrement table. So the first thing we're going to start is with the total force of mortality. We know that's going to be the force of mortality for the first decrement and the second decrement. So the total force of mortality by the second bullet point is k times the quantity t plus 1 squared from the first dec or first bullet point we have the force of mortality of the second decrement is twice the force of mortality of the first decrement so we're going to substitute that back in and we're going to get that the first the mortality of the first decrement is one third times k times quantity two pl t plus one squared. And so the force of mortality for the second decrement is twice the first decrement. So that's going to be two thirds k times t plus one quantity squared. Okay, so now we've used the first two uh, bullet points. So let's look at the third one. So we have q prime of x decrement 2 for 2 years. So we can rewrite this as a complement of surviving. And we can represent 2p prime x of 2 as e to the negative integral from 0 to 2 of the force of mortality for the second decrement. So we already found what the second uh, the force of mortality for the second decrement. So up here that we're going to substitute that in so it's 2 thirds k times t plus 1 quantity squared. So we solve this um, integral, and so we'll have two ninths, negative two ninths in front, and we're going to evaluate it from zero to two. So when we do that, we get one minus e to the negative fifty-two over nine k, and that's just going to be point one zero nine one three. So I get that number from the third bullet point. Okay. So you doing some algebra, I get that k is equal to 0 0.02. Okay, the next step is to find out the probability of dying in two years due to the second decrement. Oh, sorry, the first decrement. So that's gonna be the integral from zero to two the probability of surviving t years multiplied by the force of mortality for due to the first decrement. So I can rewrite this as a probability of surviving t years and the force of mortality due to the first uh, decrement can be rewritten as see up here one third the more the, the force of mortality for all decrements okay so we're gonna plug that in so we're gonna have one third out here and then we'll just have force of mortality due to all decrements so this simplifies to the probability of not surviving two years at age x, which is a complement of surviving two years. So we'll have the two on the bottom here. And so we can represent this as an integral So the probability of dying within two years 
is e to the negative integral from 0 to 2 of all force and mortality of all decrements. Okay, so now we're going to substitute what the force of mortality is for all decrements. So that was on the top. And we found that to be negative point zero two times t plus one squared. Okay, so we solve the integral and we end up getting one third times quantity one minus e to the negative point five two over three. So that simplifies to is point zero five three zero five. And finally I can solve for 1,000 times the probability of dying due to the first decrement as 1,000 times 0 .05305 0 .05, and the final answer is 53.05.